Welcome to my channel Competitive Exam Warriors. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the bell button to stay updated to my latest notification. So let's begin with another important current affairs session and this is August current affairs part 6 and as usual it will be presented by me this educator Shovik Maitra. So let's move forward. Now this is my achievement section if you have gone through it earlier so let's skip it and move forward to the next slide. But if you are new viewer, you can have a look at all these things. Uh, but most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You will uh, get uh, the link over there. Okay, just uh, click on it and you will be subscribed to my channel. And also don't forget to hit the bell button. Please go to personalize section and hit all. Okay, so that you will be getting all the notifications regarding my new videos whenever I upload them. And also another important thing, don't forget to join my telegram channel Competitive Exam Warriors because then you will be getting notifications regarding my new videos even if YouTube does not upload them. Sometimes YouTube don't give notifications, push notifications but if you join my telegram channel then definitely you will be getting hold of all the new notifications whenever I upload any new video in my telegram, sorry in my YouTube. Okay and uh, this is my target audience. I hope you know by this way because this is related to current affairs and if you want to join unacademy's class of courses you can use this code PADUSR4SV then you will be getting awesome discount on any unacademy class of courses. Right. Let's move forward and let's come to the first news that is Ministry of Skill Development partners with Ministry of Shipping. So this uh, government to government news as you can see that is Ministry of Skill Development has inked an MOU with Ministry of Shipping to promote skill development in port and maritime sector. Now this partnership between these two ministries actually seeks to skill, reskill and upskill the manpower for the growing maritime industry and real estate development of coastal community. Now this MOU will offer extensive employment opportunities uh, to particular youth of coastal areas, living coastal areas, strengthen commitment of coastal community development under this important fish scheme that is Sagar Mala program launched the Ministry of Shipping. It will work towards uh, nurturing the skilled manpower for the development of ports as well as maritime sector of India and globally. Static bit news which I will discuss like Union Minister for Skill Development and Entrepreneurship is Mr. Mahindra Nath Pandey. And Ministers of State Independent Charge Shipping is Mansuk El Mandavia. Very, very important, the static based news. Okay, so let's uh, move forward. Former Indian cricketer uh, Gopal Swami Kasturi Anjan passed away. So, these are obituary based news, and just like Avon based, based news, obituary based news are equally important. Like former cricketer, administrator, and pitch curator Gopal Swami Ayangar Kasturi Anjan passed away. So, these type of questions can come like who is Gopal Swami Ayangar? You can say he was a former cricketer, administrator, and pitch curator. He was born on 12th October 1913 Chennai Tamil Nadu and he began his career in 1948 as you can see present in Mysore Energy Trophy and retired from first class cricket after 1960 session. Uh, now this person was a fast bowler who played 36 first class matches and captained Mysore Energy cricket team uh, now which is named as Karnataka Mysore once. Like, he has also served as uh, chairman of BCA Board of Control for Cricket in India Grounds and Pitches Committee and Vice President of Karnataka Cricket Association KSCA. So let's move forward. Now MOTA that is Ministry of Tribal Affairs partners with Ministry of uh, Rural Development to promote sustainable uh, livelihood in rural India. So they have joined, signed a joint communication to promote sustainable livelihood opportunities. Uh, through this joint communication both ministries now these will help together promote sustainable livelihood opportunities among tribal women, self help groups, SAGs under National Rural Livelihood Mission as you can see over here. Ministry of Rural Development will identify and map tribal women self help group members including their individual livelihood assets while Ministry of Tribal Affairs will offer planning support to SRLM to finalize the state annual function plan and include the same in its livelihood annual action plan. So this is important try to remember it. Please uh, make a note of all the news to discuss and try to incorporate them and try to read uh, more and more current affairs as much as possible because all these current affairs will be important when you go for any computer exam, any I mean, be it SSC, be it bank, be it insurance, be it rail, whenever they come up. So let's move forward and come to the next news like Harshvardhan launches game on COVID-19 in the coronavirus. Finally, they have launched a game. So in remains to health and family welfare, if you know this person that is Dr. Harshvardhan's constituency, you can leave it in the comment section. In fact, regarding um, constituency of cabinet ministers, I have made a lesson which you will find. In fact, I can give it link in the description also. I think it will help you for you, right? Also, you can find it out if you check all my videos. It comes under a static GK show course. Okay. Cabinet Minister's uh, portfolio and the constituents has launched a game on uh, COVID-19 uh, title Harshvardhan as the Corona Fighters as you can see over here. Now this game has been launched with a target to influence the players actions in the real world reminding them to take the 
right precautions and escape infection so this game is now actually a new and extremely creative method to teach people the right tools as well as previews to fight the covid-19 pandemic along with the corona fighters game the minister has launched um, ICs two promotional videos urging um, adherence uh, to key covid-19 appropriate behaviors like you should wear a mask whenever you go to public places and please try to cover your nose and mouth properly also if you if is possible please wear a face shield and also use gloves and do proper sanitization that is uh, sanitize your hands in every one hour if you find that you touching any infected substances okay because this virus remains on metal surfaces for 2 to 3 days and so on okay both products will seek uh, to influence children and through them the elders in the community and spread the message as well as importance of covid-19 appropriate behavior So let's move forward and come to next news like Atoll Innovation Mission Science SAU the system of intent with Business Sweden so AIM Niti Aayog and Business Sweden behalf of India Sweden Health and Innovation has signed a virtual statement of intent that is so I will say to expand the culture of innovation in our country uh, in the country okay so the partnership aims to encourage the disruptive potential of indian entrepreneurs and to give impetus to the vibrant startup ecosystem across the country through this partnership various initiatives were aim by like atoll community innovation centers atoll tinkering lab atoll new challenge nic atoll incubation center and atoll research and innovation small enterprises arise will receive support with the help of programs awareness campaigns various activities and events which will improve the overall innovation grid of both the countries india sweden healthcare innovation center is an association between aims delhi that's important you must know aims jodhpur and business sweden this is extremely important and now what it does it seeks to create an ecosystem of open innovation in both the countries coming to last news this is here important dates like world senior citizen day 21st august already i made less important dates but these they are annually incorporated so please try to remember them and if it comes with any theme please try to remember them because sometimes themes are also asked because in my exam also 3 years back i have got hold of an important theme so you should know the themes along with important dates and regarding important dates video i will give a link in the comment section definitely the world senior citizen day is observed globally on 21st august every year this day is celebrated to raise awareness about issues affecting older people such as deterioration with age and abuse of the elderly support honor and show appreciation to seniors and recognize their achievements the world senior citizen day also recognizes and acknowledges the contributions of older people to society and now let's know something about history of uh, as you can see over here senior citizen day the day was proclaimed by the un general assembly unga you can uh, leave his headquarters in the comment section ungas on december 14 1990 the day was officially found from founded sorry the day was officially founded by the former president of the united states of america usa ronald reagan in 1988 to dedicate a day to older adults and their issues the issues the senior citizen face on each and every day the hurdles they face every day regarding this one so uh, coming to another particular